it's Jasmine. Um, today I'm going to be doing a three-part video. Um, not really, it's not really going to be a three-part video. It's basically going to be three different videos, but I'm going to cram them all into one day because I'm leaving for this weekend and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do a lot of videos while I'm gone. Um, so I'm just going to get started. This first video is going to be a makeup tutorial. I'm obviously going to be using a purple color because that is what I'm wearing. Um, I'm going to try and do like a purpley smoky eye-ish color. Um, it's going to be really cool. I'm also going to be using um, some of my new products that I just, not just got, but some of my new brushes that I just got. And also my, obviously my e.l.f. palette. So, and I absolutely love this um, palette. I'm actually going to be doing a review because I have tried most of their colors. So anyways, I'm going to be using uh, three of their colors. The first color I'm going to be using, oh, that got all over my finger. First color I'm going to be using is this one right here. One. And it's because it's a matte color and I want to put it on my lid. I'm also going to use this one and like this one right here. Also to make the smoky eye. Um, I'm going to be just using those and then obviously um, my highlight right here out of this palette. Um, I'm going to label this palette. I haven't done it yet. I'm uh, very sorry I haven't done it. I have been meaning to but I just haven't had the chance to. So yeah. Um... I'm just gonna get started. Um, the new brushes I'm going to be using today are my gem brushes from e.l.f. I only have three because I went back to go get more, and these are the purple ones by the way. I went back to go get more and they were all gone. So yeah. Anyways, let's just gonna get started. The first thing I'm going to use is obviously my NYX eyeshadow base and skin tone. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, so yeah, we're just going to apply that to your finger and apply it all over your lid. Obviously you can tell I have no foundation, no blush, or bronzer. Sorry, I have the hiccups. So I'm going to be applying it all in this video. That's why I'm going to be speaking kind of fast and moving quickly because as you all know I don't edit my videos because I haven't gotten editing system so yeah anyways okay so we're going to take this C brush from their gem line and it's their eyeshadow brush it looks like this it's got really cool purple top and it's very stiff and I love it um, I haven't had any fallout with these brushes, so I actually um, think they're quite amazing. So we're going into that matte purple color. We're going to tap off the extras and put it in the crease. Or not into the crease, onto the lid. Sorry, I forgot to zoom in. But I'm hoping that I'm getting used to the um, zoom, so, and hopefully I don't go blurry and hopefully I stay in camera view. As you can see, it's just a very subtle purple, so it's not too, like, Holy moly, she's got purple on her eyelid. Um, the purple I want more to be, obviously, in the crease, but I wanted to show you guys how to use the purple, all purple, in your eye at, and no other colors. And it still be quite subtle, but also quite extravagant as well. So it looks like that. Oh, and I'm sorry if I'm looking over here, you're here, and then my mirror is right here, so. Um, I haven't yet got a makeup mirror yet, so. I'm working on it. It looks like that. I'm going to just wipe the top of them because I want them to be just on my eyelids. Okay, the next color I'm going to pick up. Like I said, um, 
is the next one down, and it's going to be. This one, oh, right here. I'm going to mix it with this one right below it. Sorry, I know I'm zoomed in. Hopefully, that doesn't look bad. Okay, I'm going to take the fluffy brush from Elf. This is also their gem one. It has a purple top and it's quite stiff. Um, I'm going to take that and then the one below it. And this one I'm going to put into my crease. I'm going to blend down, not up, because I don't want purple to be up here. I want it to be down here. So take those same two colors, tap off, and pop it into the crease. So it looks like that. Same for the other eye. Tap off and pop it into the grease. Swipe the top away. And I wish I could speed through this, but I can't. I apologize. My videos happen to be a little bit long. I'm doing it downwards. Okay. So, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a darker color, obviously, and just... Oh, hold on one second. I don't want it to look all raccoony. Okay, and I'm just going to um, pop it into the crease a little bit more to um, make it a little bit um, more defining of actually where the crease is. So, I'll show you the dark color as soon as I'm finished because then I can zoom out. So it kind of turns it into like a plummy purple, which is nice. We all like plummies. Did that? Okay. And then do the same with this one. liking this eye for some reason this one. It's not wanting to play. Okay. I'm gonna go back and take those really the brighter earlier colors and I'm going to just lighten up my lid a little bit on this side. it down much better. Okay, I'm going to zoom back out. And I'm going to show you the color that I used. I used this color right here just to deepen my crease a little bit and kind of give it a more of a plummy color. Um, it actually kind of looks quite nice, so I like it. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take, obviously, my liner and my Hello Kitty um, NC05 palette. It's their natural one. You guys all know this. Um, I'm going to take my liner brush from Estee Lauder. I don't know if they still have this brush. It looks like this. It's blue and it has a black tip. Um, and I'm going to put this in as my, my liner. I'm going to wing my liner out.
Okay. Take it and do the same thing to this one. I'm sorry you guys are not talking. And I see what my problem is with my eyeshadow. Okay. Sorry, guys. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is obviously pop my highlighter into my crease. And I'm going to take my original um, blending brush from e.l.f. This is from their dollar line. I'm just going to pop it into that champagne color and pop it into my highest part on my um, eyebrow bone and I'm just going to kind of blend it down and into that purple so it kind of looks nice okay and then I'm going to do the same thing to this eye window wiper movements pop it down into my tear duct bend it kind of up and then down a little bit underneath um, There's many ways to interpret this look. You can um, obviously drag the purple underneath your eyes and it would look gorgeous that way too. Um, I'm actually just going to leave it quite subtle and um, next thing I'm going to put on is my Lash Accelerator and my um, The Falsies by Maybelline. Um, I love these two together. I love how this one pulls them out and spreads them apart and I like how that one makes them really black and um, bold and beautiful. I bent my brush so I can get around the edges and I actually kind of like it this way so I'm just going to put on some mascara is going a little bit wonky. Hmm. It's weird it wants to fall down instead of stay straight for some crazy reason. I don't know why. And then I'm going to take my falsies lash one. Oh, that's crazy. Hmm. Weird. Sorry. down and it just makes them look like I don't know I'm sorry I have my mouth open ha ah. okay so that is the look it's very um purpley obviously and oh didn't work. Now let's look. It looks like that. I hope you like it. Um, I'm going to not put my face on because I don't have enough time left in this video. So I'm just going to put my face on before I start the next video, which is going to be my haul. And thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for part two and three. Thanks guys. Bye.